It truly is nothing new under the sun. Since the beginnings of Christianity, there have been conflicts within the church, and even from the time of Jesus, there were perceived conflicts between church or religion and state or civic society. Let's begin with conflicts within the church. We certainly know there was conflict between Peter and Paul. Today we celebrate two saints between whom there was immense conflict, St. Pontian and St. Hippolytus. Pontian being the Pope at the time, and Hippolytus claiming himself to be Pope and rejecting the authority of Pontian. Hippolytus was an anti-Pope until they found themselves exiled together on the same island, reconciled, and most people don't know this, our second Eucharistic prayer is almost word for word from the writings of Hippolytus. And we will be using that prayer today on this feast day of Pontian and Hippolytus. In days to come, as the Pennsylvania report comes out about the dealing with child abuse, and who knows what else will come in coming weeks, we're going to be reminded that conflict exists in the church even today. And yet, God writes straight with crooked lines. And we are in God's hands. In today's gospel, Jesus is sort of tricked, and he, just, he rises above it. And or they try to trick him. They don't do it, but they, they try to trip him up. And Jesus just rose above it and basically reminds us of what the Second Vatican Council would remind us almost two centuries later. That we are called to live in the world, but not be of the world. We are citizens of the city of earth, but we long to be citizens of the city of God. And so as citizens of earth, we have to deal with, we have to encounter, as Pope Francis would say, the realities of our civic society. For better or worse, in spite of Twitter and whatever else may come, elections on the way, but we mustn't let the work of society drag us down and cause us to forget that we as Christians in the world are called to raise that society to a new height, to the height of nothing less than the city of God, the kingdom of God. Conflict in church, conflict between church and state. Nothing new under the sun. Please join with me in praying this noon that Saints Peter, that Saints Punch and, and Hippolytus and Peter and Paul intercede for us that we might truly continue the work of building the kingdom of God, even as conflicts and controversy will reign.